and welcome back. Uh, we are still in Rivoli and we are now in Zamimpilo. As you can see, uh, the police have now gone into the area. Uh, the guy passing uh, in front of us, the police have actually um, uh, taken him into, uh, uh, they've actually arrested him. But of course, behind us, uh, we can see uh, some of uh, the equipment that the police have uh, confiscated from inside the informal settlement. And uh, we are now going to go in. Uh, so we've been led by Brigadier Spears and the MMC, uh, Dr. Uh, Traka, who was speaking to us earlier on. So we are going to make our way in to the informal settlement and it's treacherous terrain. I must just warn you, so apologies uh, for the shot that might jump around as uh, we try to just navigate our way around here. So this is one of the entrances we understand that the Zamazamas use in going underground. So this would be one of them. And um, they would go in there and, of course, various tunnels underground. Um, so uh, it's, it's, it's a pity we can't um, see any further in there. But uh, this, we understand, is one of the entrances that they actually use. We're just going to move across uh, just to see if we can see anything else. Um, and I just want to have a quick look here. Um, it would seem as though there's some smoke or something coming from the inside. Just not too sure what it is. We're going to try and just put the camera as close as we can into this hole. Um, there's definitely activity underground. You can see from uh, just a little bit of smoke that's emanating from there. Uh, but of course, we don't know what that's about. But I think that is uh, perhaps the clearest sign of evidence that there is activity underground. So we are now going to follow the police, Brigadier Spears. Um, he is uh, leading us here as we go in. Uh, they are conducting a stop and seizure um, activities here in Zamimpilo and uh, basically stopping people as they go along, uh, searching some of the shacks to see if they can come across any weapons or any of the other um, uh, equipment that is used by the Zamazamas. So uh, we are just following uh, just to see uh, what actually takes place here. So cameraman moving ahead and uh, of course just following the police. As we said, uh, they have someone there with them right now whom they are searching. And there would be several of these shacks that we will go into or at least the police will go into just to see if they can find anything. So uh, Brigadier Spears, okay. he's here with me now. Brigadier, yes, just uh, yes. to give us a sense of exactly what is happening here now. What's happening here, ma'am, is uh, that we deployed, you know, numbers of SAPs. That's TRT, NIU, National Intervention. It's uh, visible policing, there's metro police, there's mobile operations. Since six in the morning, you know, we've been inside here yeah, to check, you know, whether people are documented and also to look for any stuff that can be linked or could be linked to illegal mining. So we already arrested 15, about 15 uh, people are busy, the members are busy processing them at the police station for now. We are still at work, we are still busy, you see, so it's not over yet. We'll see how far, you know, we can get you know, as to cleaning up this place, yeah. That's so, it. the shack that we are at right now, just give us a sense, uh, why are we at this particular shack? Is there any particular intelligence that leads us to this, or is this just random? Okay, uh, we just got information to say, take note about the shack. So we came here, you know, just to make sure, you know, we don't leave any stone unturned. We're not sure what is inside here, but they pointed, you understand, and gave us a direction into this shack and this and that is written on the, the neighboring shack, so we think we are the right shack. What's inside, we'll determine now. They're busy searching and checking inside. Brigadier Spears, what have you recovered so far uh, in terms of uh, the searches that you've conducted this morning? So far, there's a uh, gold dust, there's soil, you know, that we know of, that we discovered. And there's also pendukas, you know, these uh, equipment, you know, that they process the soil, you know, that will ultimately be the gold. Uh, but, and, and, and we arrested some suspects, yeah. So it's pendukas and soil, you know, buckets of soil. 
uh, we're going to carry some out that still you understand where we found it. So uh, with regard to the people that you've arrested, so you said about 15 this morning. Yesterday, how many all in all were arrested? For, for yesterday, I don't have the numbers with me now. I know of this morning, you know, because I came personally just to lead and guide this operation. We have 15, but I'm confident we're going to have more. You know, just, just a preliminary, you know, uh, report, you know, on numbers for now. And Brigadier, you know, yes, we are now following the Zama Zamas. We're following the guys who are actually doing uh, the mining. But what about, you know, beyond that? Because this is clearly organized. Uh, you know, uh, these are syndicates that are operating. So beyond just arresting the Zama Zamas for now, what else is being done? Yeah, there's a lot being done behind the scenes. We work on crime intelligence, you know, our structures, crime intelligence, as well as uh, information from the community. We rely a lot on the community. What the community says, you know, we follow that route and go and check and verify whether there is something for us. So it's a non-stop, you know, ongoing operation. Mm. It is not over. Any info, we are welcome, you understand, or feel welcome to come and talk to us and we will go and check it out. So I just want to be clear because we don't want to infringe on anybody's rights or break the law in any way, shape or form. Uh, with regard to what is happening in front of us, we are here, we are seeing it. Are we allowed to capture what is happening there and listen in on it? Uh, can we please just give space to the officers that's inside? For outside, you understand there's communities here, living here. I think you are free, you understand, to f follow your mandate. But when there's a serious, you know, police intervention there, we'd like you, you know, just to make us, you know, do our thing. And then and, and we'll talk, you know, after that. Inside there, they'll come and give me a report as to what is discovered. But uh, as I said, they're still busy inside there. So as things stand right now, because what the community was telling us was that around the 25th of the month, uh, there seems to be a much more heightened activity that takes place and uh, more members of the uh, Zama Zama community coming out from the mines. So do you actually intensify your patrols around this area at that point? Because what was also said earlier from JMPD was that uh, they actually decry the fact that they haven't had the necessary support from SAPS on this matter. We definitely intensifying, you know, our operations. There's more members, like the minister uh, reflected that uh, resources, that is uh, members from outside, you know, they are here, they came in to strengthen the capacity, yeah? So, so as we're operating here, it's not only the locals, you know, we have your NIUs, you know, from the head office. We have TRT local and from outside operations, uh, mobile operations. So we quite a number, but every day you understand we graduating, we're moving up. We, you know, we up our game. You see, as we see there's more activities, we try and match that you know, also with, with, with more manpower and forces. Mm. Brigadier, as we step aside, as you continue your work, you said you were going to get a briefing of what's happened inside. Um, so are we just going to step aside and uh, continue to take the footage here. Yeah. But um, have you got any, any information of what happened in there? Okay, I'll speak to the operators now. You know, they'll brief me as to what was found inside there. I don't have the info now, but I'll, I'm, I'm approaching them now just mm. to hear what they got. And that, of course, uh, Brigadier Spears, and uh, we are following uh, the team as uh, they make their way through uh, Zamimpilo informal settlement. What I can tell you is the two gentlemen that they currently have here, um, that uh, they've currently arrested, uh, from what I can gather just uh, by listening to what is happening around me, the first one uh, has actually indicated that the second man was arrested is actually his boss. So not sure Brigadier will give us a further briefing, but I'm just trying to pick up around me what is going on and uh, this is how we make our way through Zamimpilo and uh, there is a lot going on here there are a lot of men and uh, obviously it is tense and we are just making our way through the area I'm not sure if we are going to witness more arrests we probably will uh, but uh, people moving us from one uh, shack to the uh, next and showing and uh, pointing out to the police where the next uh, place is where they should be looking so uh, this is where we are going to hand it back and we will be uh, coming back to Zamimpilo in a little while back to studio